Now, 841 with Oscar-nominated actor Jude Law in his new movie, Genius. He plays Thomas Wolf, a struggling writer looking for a big break. That is until he walks into the office of Max Perkins, the illustrious editor behind authors like Ernest Hemingway and F. Scott Fitzgerald. It was a meeting that would change his life forever. You can't kill the deep roots by cutting off a few top branches. And the roots go deep, Mr. Perkins, and they are unassailable. Mr. Wolf, we intend to publish your book. <laughs> Jim Law, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Thomas Wolfe, not a household name. I mean, the F. Scott Fitzgerald, Hemingway, we Indeed. know them very well. Who is this guy? And I, and I think you almost need to look at what he's carrying in his arms what there. What he's carrying is to the, hand, understand. the handwritten manuscript that turned into his first novel. He was this, um, he was an extraordinary character. And you're right, it, it, it's odd that he's sort of disappeared from the, uh, from the common conscious, the sort of literary terrain that everyone knows about. Um, he was on the syllabus, I believe, in the, in the States until the 70s. He was uh, a great believer in shaking up the literary world. He was a believer in freedom of speech and, um, and putting down on, on the page, uh, if you like, a document of who he was and uh, what he was about as opposed to writing the perfect line. And he wrote these sprawling manuscripts that yeah. were larger than life like he was. He Indeed. was loud, he was obnoxious, he was passionate. <laughs> he liked three or four drinks. He did. Yeah, uh, is he a likable guy? Is he a guy you'd want to hang out with? I think he's a guy you'd like to hang out with, uh, certainly for an evening. I don't know whether you'd <laughs> survive beyond that or indeed want to go back for more. Um, what he was extraordinary at doing was capturing all of that lust for life on the page. And Max Perkins, this, um, this extraordinary figure in the world of, uh, uh, of, of, of literature, saw that genius and, uh, and helped him, if you like, put it on the page. And less people think this then just becomes a movie about books. It's really the story of the friendship Indeed. that develops between these two, which was extraordinary. Yeah, it's exactly that. It's the story of the friendship. Uh, they, they, they sort of took on the roles, if you like, of surrogate father and son. It also looks at what, is it, what does it take to create genius? Is a gen does genius come from an individual? Can genius be uh, constructed between two individuals? There's a great line in, in, in the film where they talk about Max Perkins, played by Colin Firth, that he had a genius for friendship. You know, what, what, and, what and where does genius exist in our, in, our, um, in our life? And by the way, an extraordinary cast in this. You mentioned Colin Firth and Nicole yes. Kidman and Laura Linney and it goes on and on. You've played a real variety of roles over the 20 years or so that you've been making movies. And you have one coming up that I would imagine is a bit daunting. You play the Pope. Yes, I did. I just finished a, 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 a mini-series, um, which I believe is going to be aired here at the end of the year or beginning of next. How do you get uh, ready for that role? Well, that was a question I asked myself. To be honest, the char we, we, we stuck to playing the character who happens to be a pope, as opposed to I didn't get lost in um, trying to find a place where uh, they have a pope school or, you know, uh, um, it, was, it was a great character and constructing him uh, made playing the Pope element of the part easy. Well, uh, we were talking in the break before we went on about kids and things like that. You got it. Kids who are getting into some form of the business and modeling and things like that. Are you an advice giver, Father? Well, I'm an advice giver. I don't know whether they're advice uh, takers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'd listen to the Pope if they don't listen to their they father. They would, they would, but now that the Pope is their father, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Jude Law, it's always good to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks we want to tell you, you genius hits theaters this Friday. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.